in this video we will find the integral of sec inverse x so in order to integrate this function we will use integration by parts so first of all let q is equal to sec inverse x and dv is equal to dx now the differential du is equal to the derivative of sec inverse x which is 1 upon x times square root of x square minus 1 dx and here we will take the integral of both sides so we have v is equal to x now the formula of integration by part is integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du now here we will put the value of u which is sec inverse x then the value of dv which is dx then the value of u sec inverse x and then the value of v which is equal to x then minus integral of v then du the value of du is 1 upon x times square root of x square minus 1 dx now we can write this integral as integral of sec inverse x dx is equal to x times sec inverse x minus integral of 1 upon square root of x square minus 1 dx now we have to find the integral of 1 upon square root of x square minus 1 so first of all we consider integral of 1 upon x square minus 1 dx so in order to integrate this function we will use trigonometric substitution so let x is equal to sec theta so dx is equal to sec theta tan theta d theta because the derivative of sec theta is sec theta tan theta and then the square root of x square minus 1 is equal to we will put the value of sec theta over here so we have sec theta square minus 1 under root so this is equal to square root of sec square theta minus 1 and sec square minus sec square theta minus 1 is tan square theta <coughs> so square root of x square minus 1 is equal to tan theta now we will put the value of square root of x square minus 1 in this integral so we have 1 upon square root of x square minus 1 dx is equal to 1 upon tan theta then in place of dx we will put sec theta tan theta d theta sec theta tan theta d theta and then after cancellation we have integral of sec theta d theta now the integral of sec theta is ln of sec theta plus tan theta plus c dash and now we will put the value of sec theta over here which is x is equal to sec theta so we will put x in place of sec theta and in place of tan theta we will put square root of x square minus 1 plus c dash so the integral of 1 upon square root of x square minus 1 dx is ln of x plus square root of x square minus 1 plus c dash now we will put this integral over here so first of all we will write integral of sec inverse x dx is equal to x times sec inverse x minus integral of 1 upon square root of x square minus 1 dx now we will put the value of 
is this integral so we have x times x inverse x minus ln of x plus the square root of x square minus 1 plus c dash and after simplifying we have x times x inverse x minus ln of x plus the square root of x square minus 1 minus c dash and this can be written as x times sec inverse x minus ln of x plus square root of x square minus 1 plus c where c is equal to minus c dash or we can say that c is the constant of integration so this is the integral of sec inverse x